Hi, welcome to this webinar on installing Sweet CRM. Before we start, take a look at this page. This may become your best friend. It's on the Sweet website, on the documentation, and it's got all of the documented installation steps. If you get stuck, come back here. If you get very stuck, Google. There's plenty of help out there. And if you get extremely stuck, go to the forums. Post your uh, question in there. There are lots of good people who will help you. <clears throat> now, before we get into the meat of it, there's just some background parameters. I'm going to be installing this on Linux Ubuntu because that's what the project uses as an operating system and also as a, a server system. This is running on my desktop. Uh, many of you will be installing this on Windows and some of you will be installing it on Mac. The core instructions are the same. Permissions are different in Windows. The other prerequisite is you absolutely must have your web server and your application server installed. If you don't know how to do that, just Google for install LAMP stack. If you're running on Linux and you want Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Uh, if you're running on Windows, um, Google for a WAMP stack. Then there will be tons of instructions and similarly for Mac. Uh, and once you've got all of that installed, then you're good to go with installing uh, Sweet CRM. If you're installing this on a server, it's mostly installed by default anyway, but worth checking. So, first thing you've got to do is go acquire the software. Go download it from the project site. So you go to Sweet CRM and go to download, download Sweet CRM. Now, I'm already logged in. Uh, and if you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in or to create an account. You can't download the software without it. And you just quickly go to Download Sweet CRM. It will take you to here. Click on the download button and it will start downloading it for you. Now, I have already downloaded one sitting up here in my downloads. I'm going to click on it. It's going to open my extractor in, in Linux and I'm just going to extract the files. And you need to extract the files to the root of your web server. Now mostly in Ubuntu these days it's in HTML, but I've changed mine so it still sits in the www folder. I'll just go and extract the, the files and it's done that. Show the files and if I just list by last installed there's a here it's sitting here um, and if I want to go all of the files are sitting sweetly in there now the next bit I need to do using the terminal you should get used to using the terminal if you're a Linux user so just control alt T to launch the terminal I'll go to full screen and the first thing I need to do is to navigate to the directory. So cd var www uh, ls l. So my core install is sitting at sweet crm 7.8.1. Uh, it's too much of a mouthful. I always rename these guys. So let's do a sudo su to get administrative permissions. Bang in my password, and then I want to change sweet crm dash seven. It should pick up the rest of it, and I'll call it sweet install. Okay, so ls dash l again. Oops, ls dash l. I've now got Sweet Install sitting there. Now, before you do anything else, you need to start taking ownership or setting the ownership groups correctly for uh, Linux, or well, for Apache specifically, but you need to set it differently for Windows. 
I'm going to say something and I'm going to put a huge, and I mean huge, caveat at the front of it. There's a very fast way of cutting through all of this and just getting it installed quickly, which I do when I'm just doing a, a get down and dirty with it. You should never do the following if you're putting this on any kind of web exposed surface because it just introduces a huge security risk. But if you're just installing this locally for uh, play just change all the permissions to 777 and i'll say it one more time if this is out in the web and you put it on 777 and you get hacked more bloody fool you do it properly so let's just go um change the the ownership so we do shown cursively ww data which is the apache group that we want to send data Sweet install. Nice and fast. So that's it in the right groups. Now we want to chmod the entire application. So change the file permissions right across the, the application to 755. Install. So that's how it's changed. If we do an ls-l we should see that we do have changed permissions directories here managed to modify so we've got ww data and the, the right permissions okay and then we have to change particular directories uh, so we're going to go actually into the file structure and you can see all of the file permissions are sitting at 755 well some of them will need to be a bit looser so we need to go change so chmod dash r775 for the cache directory for the custom directory and for the modules and for themes and for the data directory and finally for the upload directory And the last file you have to change is the config override. Uh, so we'll do chmod 775 config override. And that should be us ready to rock. So let's just go to our web browser and launch suite localhost or put in your web url if you're doing this on a web server and it's suite install i called it suite install ah, and there we go so the first thing it does is it whacks up the license suite crm governed by an open source uh, the affero gpl and you have to accept it before you can install it. It's not restrictive, it's a permissive license. It allows you to do things. It's the nice thing about open source. So we do next. It goes away and it checks that all of your environment is uh, enabled. If you get any errors here, it's unlikely that the suite's going to work properly. And you should go and Google about how to install some of these libraries on your for your configuration. Next. So it's then asking you for your database username. Uh, I run as root. And I have to put my password in. Uh, now here we set up uh, whether we want demo data. I usually do. Um, the scenario setting you can kind of say um, I just want to see the sales modules or I just want to see the marketing modules. It it takes the initial complexity away. Uh, if you're quite experienced about using this, just let all of them be installed. Um, and SMTP server, in this case I'm just going to run it locally, so I'm a local host, otherwise you need to get all of your um, SMTP details, use SMTP authentication, nope, so I'm fine there. Branding, you can upload your uh, browser, 
and so I'll just go this, this is the the logo that's going to appear uh, when you first log in and uh, so I'll upload that oh it's rather ugly never mind and finally well not finally then your 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 local settings so i'm i'm in europe we prefer our date formats like 2312 i particularly like uh, 24 hour clocks what's your time zone well i'm gmt0 what's your default currency the default currency is important but it's not critical because sweet is multi currency but set the the default so it's pound sterling where i am as we can see here currency symbol is the good old pound and the international currency code is gbp Okay, you can also uh, set up your site security because I'm running this uh, locally. I, I don't need to do that. So I've got everything that I need and I hit the next button. That administrator email address. Ah, I do apologize. I was just running ahead of myself. Uh, final thing you need to do is to set up a, a, a password for the admin account. If you, you should write this down, I've done this before and not remembered it. And then uh, finally the email address, which uh, we'll put um, sales agility at gmail, gmail .com. And then next. And it goes off and it does the install. Now I'm installing demo data, so this is going to take a, a, a few minutes. Um, so I, at this point in time, and I, I do warn you, if it was demo data, unless you're putting it on an SSD, it's, it will take up to 10 minutes. So just go make yourself a cup of tea and come back to it. And once it's installed, it's going to take you to the Sweet CRM login screen and just enter the details that you put in your password uh, uppercase there admin and there you have Sweet CRM with demo data already installed for you to use. Um, the, 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 the core part of this is that if, if you're not experienced with it, it can be a little bit tricky. Once you've done it once or twice, it, it's very easy to do. If you get stuck, go to the forums. That's what they're there for. And there are some really smart people that hang out there that will only be too willing to help you. And to get to the forums, you just go to Sweet CRM Community Forum. Go post your query. Hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.